Hello there guys, Philippa10000 here, bringing you a quick pre-video message, and if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And make sure to check out the Game Show Central Discord channel down in the description, where you can hang out with me and my friends. Enjoy the video! <laughs> Hello there everybody, below 10,000 here, bringing you another Minecraft video, and today we are playing the second episode of Into the Depths 2, The Unbidden, I believe it was called. And this, last time we, uh, we found Isaac, the guy we were looking for, we went to a save room, we had a nightmare, and now we're exploring the town of, um, um, um the name, this name escapes me, I will admit, but we're exploring a town, and it's a lovely little town. Uh, can't go through there. I do like how our torch is actually emitting light, and because I've got it in my offhand, it means that we could actually just walk around and still have our hand used and useful. So going around here seems to be the only way to actually go, so... God, I can imagine getting chased down here. I can really imagine getting, like, proper, full-on chased. Alright, we're out onto another street. I believe this street wraps around to the breakaway by the save point. Yeah, it does. Because just out there is uh, the save spot. There's a pathway going up there. There's a pathway going around here. Nothing of remote interest around here, though. Oh, boy. Can't go in there. Oh, the audio for this game is terrifying. It truly is. Stop and pop. This place is actually open, which is kind of cool. A minor health drop. I could pick that. I could pick that one up. Excuse me. Keep out. What was that? What the hell was that? Was that just there as a jump scare? Is there a reason for that? Oh my god. Look, there's Europe. Pretty sure. At least a rough estimate of Europe. Oh my god. Snacks, cold drinks, and tobacco. Sold here. ID required for any alcohol. Good going, my man. Charging that ID. Being a good human being. Love it. And there's no way to get into, like, the back of that area. That place is locked up tighter than, uh, than a locked room. Great analogy, Billy. Good job. So, the sound design in this game, as per usual, or in this map, I should say, is phenomenal. Uh, for rent, can't really go in there, though. Uh, what are you buying? So, a lot of them, I, I assume, are references, which is fun. I love references. They're great fun. Such a good time. Thelabor's General Store. Uh, Schumann Street. Won't go down there just yet. I want to make sure... Actually... Uh, oh no, it was in the, um, it was in the book, the, the street I was after. Mary Schechter's Art and Crafts. Okay, that's a reference to the first game, uh, the first map. I know it is. Freaking Mary was her name, I'm pretty sure. It was like Mary Schuster, Mary Schechter. Key Meal Grocery. Alright, Zwaziga Street. Looking for a blue house number 209. Wait, so is this way... Uh, the street I'm after, or is it that way? This way. Swininger Street. Okay. So it's around here, I believe. Yep, Swininger Street. Okay. Let's take a little look around. I think it's this one here. 209. Here we go. Oh, boy. I'm going to assume that's done something good. But I always assume that flicking the levers is the right thing to do. 
I do feel like we're going to get attacked soon. Like, I'm about 90% sure. But I do know that they, these games never really ran on the whole getting attacked thing. Uh, I know that, for the most part, these games relied more on the psycho... Uh, excuse me, the psychological trauma. So I'm hoping that the enemies aren't, like, the sole focus of the game. You know? Elementary school key. Where... Oh, where is the elementary school? Seems like we're not running out of uh, sprint, which is good. 207's Ranzinger. Can't go in there. Just gonna make sure that there's nothing I'm missing. No items that I'm missing. 208. Can't go in there. 205. Can't go in there. Let's just head down here. So we're at uh, Crawl Street. Crawl Street heads down here. And it splits off in two different directions. I believe that's the school then. That actually looks more like the school than that does. Uh, Crawl Street. Bosch Street. Bosch. This goes back down there. Can't go that way. Is there any way to get back to the save room we were at? Or at least get a new save room? I'm hoping so. So I quite like a new one. I think this might be City Hall, actually. And not a school, but I'm not 100%. No, it's Collar Elementary School. This is definitely a school, so I guess we're heading in. Uh, the key won't open the front door. I should try the side entrance. Okay. Oh, and I have to go around to get to the side entrance. I'll try... I don't know what side the entrance is on. I guess it's on this side. So let's head around. Let me see. What does it say? Uh, the key to get inside the school found in the custodian's house, and then instant health drink. Which obviously implies we're going to start taking damage soon. We don't have anything to defend ourselves with yet, so... We've still got a lot to, to learn in that sense. The auditorium is the... Cola Elementary School. Welcome to Cola Elementary. Our prestige prestigious school has stood for over 50 years, and won countless awards since its inception. We provide a comfortable, fun, and safe learning environment, combined with the highest level of education across all subjects to help prepare your young ones for adulthood. Mr. Cola. Cafeteria. Today's special grilled schweischachs and sauerkraut. I got- I, I knew what sauerkraut was. Hello? Is anyone there? This is so creepy. Oh my god. The ambiance. I heard a voice. The ambiance is on point, as per usual. This creator just knows his shit when it comes to ambiance, and I love it. The exit lobby. Can't open the front door from here. There's a way upstairs. Schoolyard down there. And there's the rest of the cafeteria here. I like how it's lit up so that you can see through the windows, but then as you get further in, it just... gets... pitch black. Uh-oh. I hear enemies. I don't see them, but I hear them. From what it sounds like, it sounds like they are... Zombies. Oh boy. A lapis frame surrounds the door. Kitchen. So I need like a lapis key maybe or something? Stairways locked. There's not much I can do in those directions. Let's head out into the schoolyard, see if there's anything we can explore out here. Quite the empty location. Uh, 
I wonder if I'll have to dig for something down here, maybe? Or potentially this just leads around somewhere else. I like how plain it is, actually. It sort of adds to the fear. Because it just looks so simple. Cola Elementary Annex Building. Can't go through there. And this one's unopenable. Let me take a sip of my Coke as we're walking back. And I'm walking for good reason. I'm absolutely terrified. Very well done already. I love that I just can constantly, ooh, constantly praise this map. On just how well it does its scares and its ambiance. I just love the fact that we have no way of defending ourselves right now. Oh boy. Uh, class 208-2010. Class 201-206. Gift shop school supplies. Oh, this is so creepy. This is genuinely absolutely unsettling, and I'm not sure if I'm comfortable at all. There are no school supplies in here. The line certainly started there, but there's definitely nothing for me to collect. Just making sure. Because you never know. Alright, let's head through here. Oh boy. There's the restroom, which is locked. Classroom 208. It's not locked. And there's nothing in here, from what I can tell. This is Mr. Metz's room. Okay. Who is Mr. Metz, and why have I not found anything? Ah, uh, It's uncomfortable because I'm finding stuff, but I can't really do anything. Like, well, it's leading me into 209, the infirmary, which is also a save room. Thank goodness. Yeah, we should be able to pick this up. I know we should be able to, but we can't. Uh, there we go. Aha! Arrow. Oh, great. That means we're going to get bows soon. This makes me think I definitely need to take another little look around the, uh, the school itself. There's a journal here. Not sure why I can't pick it up. Because I'm sure it's meant to be picked up. Uh, shelf stacked with medical equipment and medication, but nothing in particular would be useful to me. Is that a gun? I think I just saw a gun. Or is that a key? Whatever it is, I want to pick it up. Yeah, the auditorium stairwell key. Oh. And the nurse's diary. I haven't been able to sleep the last few nights. She was lucky that I happened to be in the building at the time. I was able to help her, but it just wasn't enough. God, she was practically rec unrecognizable by the end of it all. I just... I just can't fathom how something like this happened in our school. Our town. I can't get these images out of my head. For the first time in nearly three decades, I'm actually finding myself considering the idea of giving up this career. I've been a nurse my whole life, and I've never seen anything like this. But I can't. Helping people is what I do. I just have to stay strong. She will be missed. So somebody died. She looks really ugly, apparently, according to the nurse then. And that's not meant as, meant as an insult, by the way. That's just meant as a f basically a fact. Uh, I'm going to sleep here again, just to make sure. One, sh make sure. Alright. A key to open the door to the stairwell at the far end of the auditorium. So we have to head back then. But at least we've got ourselves a save point now. 
And there was a chest in there, which makes me think I need to check all the other doors now. Ugh! They're all probably on the floor above me, but it's terrifying me because it just sounds close. Even if they're not close, it sounds close, and that's what's terrifying me. It's the thought that they could be there, not the fact that they are or aren't there, you know? Not to mention, while I can assume that they're zombies, I've yet to see the actual enemy model. Or at least, if it's the same model as the, uh... If it's the same model as the ones used prior in, uh... In the beginning, then, okay, maybe it's not too bad, but, you know... Okay, this was to be used... A key to open the door at the stairwell at the far end of the auditorium. We haven't actually been in the auditorium yet, I just realized. We've been around it, but we haven't been inside it. Uh, got acting chops? Sign up for the drama club and grab one of my many available roles in the upcoming fifth grade playbook based off of Arnold Shuster. Hey, Born from dragons. See Mr. Garver if you're interested. Arnold Shuster, the protagonist of the original. Love that. Love the throwbacks. These little references that I'm getting. Love it. Oh, what a lovely auditorium. Hopefully I don't get murdered. So pitch black right now. Jesus. Hmm. Is it around this side? Yes. To the stairwell slash schoolyard. There we go. We have unlocked something. Exit to the schoolyard. I don't think we need that. Uh-oh. We might be about to face our first enemy. Third floor. Ah! It's a fucking child! Please tell me I can kill it. Oh no. It's not killable, I don't think. Room 3 or 4 is off limits for the time. myself in here. God damn it, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Oh my god, your bow. Adele, you accidentally left your bow here after archery practice. I took it to the main office here on the third floor. You can pick it up whenever you're ready. Mrs. Ebner. Alright, I think I know what I'm going for. Main office. That's 312. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. But it's only one enemy right now, so that's not too terrifying. Uh, the table is scattered with articles on things like upcoming school events, sports teams, a weekly lunch menu. Is nothing particularly interesting. Hey, I want to know what's on the lunch menu. This could impact my enjoyment of this school. Alright, Mr. Jollenbeck. Come on. Oh, there's another one. A lapis frame surrounds the door. Meeting. Okay. The drama room. Oh, and it's got flashy carpet to boot. Okay. Garber's diary. It's safe to say the curriculum here has changed in some strange ways in the last few weeks. Mr. Kola has now deemed it mandatory that some of the teachers include some of the Shuster's guide's books into their lesson plans, my class included. So, here I am, writing up a play based on a book of no one has read from an author no one even knew lived in the town with us. Oh. 
I had gone down to the library to ask Tobias if he knew anything about his author, and to even his surprise, we actually had a whole load of Shuster's books sitting in the library gathering dust. Who would have thought? Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. Apparently Shuster's was a friend of Mr. Kohler's. I guess this is his way of honouring the guy after he bit the big one. Whether I like it or not doesn't mean anything in the end. Without Mr. Kohler's funding, this school would have closed down a long time ago. As long as I keep getting paid, I'll put together school plays of whatever he wants. Anyway, I managed to find an impressive dragon mask at Mary's Arts and Craft Shop, which should give some great visuals to wow the other children. Born from dragon might turn out good, we'll see. You gotta have faith in Shuster. Gotta have that faith. Shuster knew what he was doing. Uh, I didn't read that. I just saw a button. Uh, the third floor restroom key. That sounds great. Anything else? No. Let me just heal up. Uh-oh. Can you jump? Yep! Yes, this is the restroom... Yes, this is the restroom key. Your bladder is, uh, blah, blah, blah. Can't get in the music room. Uh, Mr. Protz, I stored the fuel for the chemistry stands in the supply room since the prank last week. Gonna be a bit before my hair comes back. Chem lab. Oh, fuck. Something's actually in here with me. That's not good. Sounds like there's more than one thing in here with me. Got a book. Locked door. Nope, there he is. Alright, I should be safe here. I should be safe here. Alright. Chem book. Hydrofluoric acid is a highly corrosive solution capable of dissolving many oxides and organic materials. It is mainly composed of the mineral fluoride treated with concentrated sulfuric acid. It has a variety of uses both in industrial settings as well as research. Commonly used as a starting material in industry, chemistry, mining, and even cleaning. However, due to it being a highly corrosive liquid, hydrofluoric acid is also an incredibly powerful contact poison and has the ability to very easily penetrate organic tissue and even dissolving it in large amounts. These pages were bookmarked. There are some notes on the bottom from the teacher, perhaps. These kids are just not grasping onto my lessons. Maybe it's just the big words. Maybe I'm just boring and putting them to sleep. I could try simplifying the terms or maybe add a creative spin, add in some fantastical element to my presentation. You'd think a bunch of kids would be entertained enough seeing acid melting down pieces of preserved animal meat and flesh. It's the terms they have trouble with. Maybe instead of hydrofluoric acid, I could refer to it as the potion of poison due to its toxic nature of the solution. That could work. I should also make sure not to screw it up this time so as not to have another accident. Just don't forget, fill a bottle with water, set it inside the chemistry set, then add the fluoride first, then the sulfuric acid. It's teaching me how to make a potion of poison, apparently. Which is fucked up in an interesting way. God, where's the main office on this floor? I want that bow. You know? Oh, we're at the end of the room. I guess we want to go unlock the restroom then. Supply room, lapis frame surrounds the door. I don't know what the lapis frame means. Maybe it's like, it just means there's nothing there, but... Ah! Ah! Excuse my scream, my manly, manly freaking scream. That one made me jump more than the others. Oh, man. I'm about to die. The key to the third floor restroom right next to room 307. This is room 3010, or 310, even. Yeah, let him in here. Haha, <laughs> tricked ya. 312. 313. 314. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. 
Oh, well, fudge. Unless it's the one near the nut. No, it couldn't be. Aha! Dodged you. 309. 308, 307. The drama room. I need to get the, the, the little guy in, locked in here. There. Now he can't get out, so I can explore as I want. That's the strategy here now. That's going to be my strategy. Aha! The restroom has now been restricted to one key. If any student or faculty require access, see Mrs. De Mrs. Hartman in room 307. Alright. What's wrong with the mirror's reflection? What? We're going into Silent Hill! Oh no! Whoa! I think everything's changing, and I'm about 90% sure I know what's about to happen. I think we just need to look at the mirror for enough time. Yep, we flip on through. Alright. Approach the mirror to the same location of the same place, only the same place is different on the other side. Some mirrors will allow you to access to places in one area that were not accessible in its counterpart. You may travel between worlds at will. So we can go back and forth as we want. Okay, let me just get rid of this goddamn shaky thing. I'm also going to do this, just so that I can get rid of the glass bottles, because there's no reason to keep them. Cola Elementary School. But creepy. Some kind of shrubbery blocks the way. Music room 306. Chem lab 305. Supply room. Venom tipped arrow. Another venom tipped arrow. It's very clear, the bow is in the main office here on the third floor. We need to find the main office. But we'll be doing that, guys, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Into the Depths 2, The Unbidden. If you want to see more, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to upvote if you're watching on Vidme. And if you want to check out my Patreon, we offer many different rewards to help keep the channel going, as it's my only source of income. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello there guys, Billabo10000 here. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'd like to give out a shout out to my four Patreons, the Ham562, the Kunkura, Shazer, and Malka Malka for being my Patreons over on Patreon. Your cooperation and your donations help keep me alive each month, and you guys can check out my Patreon as well, where we have tons of different tiers where you can get extra cool rewards each and every month. If you want to support the channel and make sure that we can continue making videos into the foreseeable future, then please consider checking out the Patreon, and maybe even becoming one of my patrons. I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, goodbye.